Alex Murdoch's legal team hasn't given up on their petition for a new trial. The former lawyer's reps previously claimed newly discovered evidence indicated that South Carolina court clerk Becky Hill allegedly tried to sway the jury in order to obtain content for her tell-all book. Now a member of the jury, known only as Juror Z, has testified that they felt Hill did influence the courtroom. Juror Z said that Hill told them to watch Murdoch closely and to pay attention to his actions. To me, she made it seem like he was already guilty, Juror Z said during their Monday, January 29th, testimony. They also noted other unnamed jurors allegedly pressured her to give a guilty verdict. However, of 12 jurors, 11 claimed Hill's instructions regarding watching Murdaugh's body language did not influence them. As OK previously reported, Murdaugh is currently serving out a double life sentence after being found guilty of the murders of wife Maggie Murdaugh, 52, and their son Paul Murdaugh, 22. During the trial, he also admitted to lying to authorities about his whereabouts on the night of their deaths. Despite the evidence against him, the disgraced ex-attorney's legal team continues to fight for a new trial for their client by turning the blame on Hill. Ms. Hill had frequent private conversations with the jury 4%, a court-appointed substitution for the 4% the jury elected for itself at the request of Ms. Hill, their legal filing read. Ms. Hill did these things to secure for herself a book deal and media appearances that would not happen in the event of a mistrial. Ms. Hill betrayed her oath of office for money and fame, the document alleged. Murdaugh's only living son, Buster, also claimed he did not believe his father had committed the horrible crimes and that the true killer was still out there. I was there for six weeks studying it, and I think it was a tilted table from the beginning, Buster said in a clip shared by Fox News. I think, unfortunately, a lot of the jurors felt that way prior to when they had to deliberate. It was predetermined in their minds prior to when they ever heard any shred of evidence that was given in that room. Buster further insisted he was absolutely fearful for his life. I think that I've set myself up to be safe, he continued at the time. But yes, when I go to bed at night, I have a fear that there is somebody else still out there.